We've arrived. Yeah, we have arrived at the uh, LRB. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. All right. Let's see here. There's only two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Let's aid the civilian ship. We could use uh, anything at this point. Oh, great. It's a slug space pirate, which means they have fire weapons. All right. Let's engage and hopefully not get destroyed. So they will be able to take down our shield with this, which means that they will be able to um, hit us with that. If we turn this off and this and turn this on, they will never be able to hit us and I can just use my dual lasers forever. So that seems like a good idea. That way I don't have to waste anything. I'm not going to even care about their weapons for the moment. You know, actually, if I just sat around forever, this uh, this could be a very good situation where we could um, we could at the very least get our pilots up here. Sadly, we won't get our weapon. You know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep going. Let's kill these guys quick. Hey, we got an upgrade anyway. It's all good. Let's take out their O2. Get rid of their oxygen. Considering we can't get killed by these guys, and they can't repair their oxygen. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, we got a defense drone Mark II out of it. All right, let's contact that civilian ship. They're probably gone by now. I wasn't thinking about this going on. The ship just seems like it doesn't have that weapon anymore. Oh, hey. They respond, it's a good thing uh, you came when you did, we'd be dead otherwise. I'm a ship right and I'd like to help you like you helped me. They offer to install a piece of equipment on our ship. Hey, a heavy laser Mark II. Nice. That is very nice. Let's check out this heavy laser. Ooh, it's one of those. That's very, very awesome. Problem is that it's a uh, very heavy to power but that is a nice weapon I'm definitely keeping that thing around all right well I can uh, upgrade my power a bit here and that will allow me to turn the Lido back on so that seems like a good setup for the moment let's check out what kind of sectors we've got on here so we've got a few sectors over here which are nebulas but I don't think we're going to get anything good out of these nebulas considering the fact that um, this is the final sector here and I doubt that there would be a quest in the final sector that would be really awkward however there is a nebula here we might get something out of that um, there's a couple hostile sectors here which we might get something out of too so um, I guess we're gonna go down towards the rebel controlled sector which is not my favorite sector in the world but um, hopefully we'll get something good out of it once the Federation forces were scattered the rebels came down hard on the locals here between the tax collectors and military bases the rebel presence in this sector is high so you know Considering the fact that I, I was debating whether or not the rebels were good guys, now I'm seeing that there's tax collectors and military bases everywhere when the rebels are taking over a sector. And that tells me that probably the rebels aren't such good guys after all. I, I was kind of thinking the whole, you know, Star Wars thing where there's the Imperials who are assholes, but seems like the rebels in this case are not the good guys. What do we have here? Uh, the nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower but disrupt our sensors and it's experiencing an ion storm. This is a very light nebula. I can't even really see that the nebula is there. <laughs> it's very very hard to see that it's there. Alright well we got a nebula in a couple different places. I don't know if it's really all that great to go through a nebula in a rebel sector. I'm definitely not going into that. 
Thank goodness for those long-range scanners, because that does help out. Let's go here. That will stop them from uh, coming on here. Let's see here. We can trade one drone part for five fuel. Why not? It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. Sure. I've got a lot of fuel right now. You know, after running out of fuel multiple times, this is very odd <laughs> that we have so much fuel. Alright, well, I don't see any stores right now, but um, we do detect a few ships. Uh, we can go through here, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's check out what this ship is. A rebel ship is patrolling this beacon and immediately turns to engage. As our crew scramble to battle readiness, sensors detect a short-range teleporter signal. An intruder is on board. Really? Because they don't have a teleporter. I think that's bullshit. A flushed and panicked rebel soldier has teleported aboard. Okay. The rebel, uh, who appears unarmed, repeatedly declares his peaceful intentions. It seems the rebel life has lost its charm. Alright, well, let's accept his proposal and prepare to fight the rebel ship. It might be a trap, but let's find out. Relieved and lightheaded, our new crew member gets to work as the rebel ship attacks. Okay. Okay, well, we got Lana on here. Lana Lang for the win, I guess. <laughs> well, that's nice. I was not expecting to get a crew member out of that. I have never seen that particular event before. It's quite possible that uh, maybe that DLC that everyone's been talking about has been enacted. Um, we've got life signs in here. I'm guessing that those aren't drones, but I'm also guessing that there are drones on board this ship. There are a lot of crew members. So I don't feel that teleporting onto their ship is a wise idea. However, they can't make it through our shields whatsoever right now. It seems like this might be a, uh, a good time to uh, just let things slide and get some good stuff out of this whole situation. So we'll be back later. Bye for now. Okay, well, I didn't do everyone because um, we've got a lot of crew members and I figured I would just uh, finish this guy off before uh, waiting forever and ever and ever. So let's get rid of his shields. Because once those are gone, he's going to be a lot easier to take down. Also, while I was uh, sitting here and thinking about it, if I power up this uh, weapon once more, then I'll be able to use the heavy laser on its own, and that might be a, uh, a good thing to have around. We'll see. This guy is... Definitely making me miss a lot of shots, but hopefully this will um, do some serious damage when it comes around. There we go. Alright, you've made your point. We are beaten. Take these and let us leave in our shame. They're going to give us missiles, drone parts, and scrap. Nah, I don't think so. We're going to do more than that. If I can actually shoot them, that is. At least their O2 is going down somewhat. That must be distracting them slightly. Alright, just like two more shots and we would kill these guys, but come on, man. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, well, they should be dead in a second here. Or not? Okay, there we go. Lots of death. Alright, so we still got missiles and drone parts, but we got a little more scrap, and honestly, I was more interested in scrap than I was in anything else. Um, however, I have come to the end of my time right now, so I am going to try out a feature that I have not tried out, which is the save and quit, and we'll be back a little bit later. Hello everyone, and we are finally back again. Um, I noticed that at the end of the uh, last video, I said I was going to try out something I had not tried out before, and to clarify that, 
I meant that the uh, save and quit was not tried out during the playthrough. I actually know exactly what it does, but um, I'm going to explain it real quick to you guys because this is kind of an interesting feature in how it works. You can't save and quit in the middle of a battle ever. Not ever. Um, and if you just exit the game while you're in the middle of a battle and you come back to the game, your ship will be completely gone. So this is this is a very important kind of thing to learn uh, with this game and kind of understand exactly what it's going to do to you. Um, if you do save and quit out of the game, you can come back and click on continue and you'll just be wherever you were. It has to be in a non-hostile situation, so if you're near a sun, asteroids, or anything like that, you cannot save and quit. Um, you can escape from a ship to like a shop or something, if there was a shop around here, um, and and then you could save there and then come back later and then go after the ship again when you uh, have the time. Um, if you have saved and quit uh, and then later on you just uh, exit out of the game without doing save and quit again, you will not go back to your previous save. Uh, when you load up the game, your save is instantly deleted. So um, basically, you're loading up your save and you need to start playing or save and quit again or you're gonna lose it. Just a little tip for everyone who doesn't really realize how the save system works in FTL. I, on the other hand, do know how it works. Let's get going though. Let's see what we got out in this universe. Federation sympathizers, contact us as we arrive. We know your mission should be secret. Don't ask us how we know about it. Take this schematic. It's all we can do to help. Okay. <laughs> Just random drone schematic. Awesome. I don't even have drones, man. Why do I keep getting them? Let's check out what this distress signal is, shall we? I guess I should turn on the Lido missile for the moment, but, you know... Once we've arrived at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails us. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Sure, why not? Giving us 13 scrap is a bit of a down payment, and they'll use our jump signature to follow. Sounds good. Oh, hey, a store over here. Um. I think I'm gonna go here, and then I'll hit up the store. And there's a couple of other beacons I can go to before we actually hit up the quest. We'll see what we got going on at this store here. All right, a Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Let's find out what it is. As we approach the signal, we receive a message on a rebel channel. I knew we'd catch some Federation fish with this signal. Prepare to be boarded, scum. All right, a couple of bastards trying to board us here. Um, how do I want to do this? You know, I think I want to have you as a backup here. We don't really need the weapons to be up that high because he's only got a single shot laser, so he's not going to be able to do anything to us. And I'll just uh, auto fire that there. Don't you go after my doors, you little assholes. That's not nice. Alright, let's make sure we take care of these guys pretty quickly. And things will be fine. I may actually just move Bly down here so he can be a, a bit of a backup, because honestly, getting hit or missed right now does not really matter. So... At the very least, I can just switch out my people and keep my doors completely intact. I don't know why, but it seems like everyone who boards our ship is always a lot more uh, powerful when it comes to combat. I guess they're probably more uh, combat ready since they've probably been running around the stars and we've just got some new people here. I mean, they, they definitely have a little bit of an advantage in health here based on this uh, this current battle. Anyway, let's go throw you two in there, and we'll switch you out. And that way we can uh, get rid of the rest of these guys. Wait a minute. Do these guys... These guys don't have any um, health to speak of here. 
This might be a good situation in which we can uh, teleport over there and uh, take them down. So I'm going to turn that off. The one thing I fear is that these guys definitely do have um, have a little bit more... Uh, they do have three people. I don't know if I really want to go over there when they have three people. That seems like that could be a bad scenario for me. Hmm. What indeed do I want to do with this? Not really sure. Not really sure, actually. Anyway, you two need to get into here so you can heal up. I'll just let those two sit there for a while. There is apparently a fire right here. We might be able to beam in right on top of this guy and take him out while those two are... Whoops, I did not mean to power that off. I just meant to take that off up there, because if they're dealing with a fire right now, we can probably surprise this guy and kill him before anything else happens. So yeah, let's try that out. Hopefully this won't be a bad idea and we end up uh, getting our crew killed. But I think we have the upper hand here. Alright, so that takes care of that. Is there still fire in here? Yes, there is. I don't like that there's a fire. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, buddy. I'm gonna kill you. Ha-ha! <laughs> Got all of you. So for whoever really, really wanted me to board things, I'm doing it, sort of, ish. Trying anyway, okay. Let's pull you two back because I do not want you to die over there. But with this uh, this teleportation system here, I can at the very least uh, work on getting people over to ships. It probably would be nice if I was to power up the teleportation system further because then we would have uh, a far less cooldown. But at the same time, I want to know what's in that shop before we go doing something like that. There's also another distress signal here. If I go to another distress signal, I might ruin the current quest. Let's go check out what's here, though. What do we have going on at the store? We discover a resupply station. Let's find out what they got. Drone control. Don't really want it. Hmm. We could get a couple more people, but... I don't think I really want to do that. What I do want to do is get rid of these two drones because they are just taking up space right now. Um, I think I'll fix everything for the moment and then I will work on getting my weapons online. You know what? Nice! <laughs> okay, okay, we've definitely got a very powerful weapon going on here. And I can always shut this down to turn this baby back on too, so... This is a, certainly an interesting setup so far. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna avoid that distress because I don't want to get rid of the quest by accident. We can go hit up some other things. A rebel ship hails us. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy. He locks weapons. 